Hand. Nigel Hand, high-tech adder expert. In the past, we've seen him using radio transmitters on these snakes, but today he's after adder DNA. Since Nigel is the expert, I'll leave him to find the adders. I've got something else to show you. So looking out at that landscape and you get a real sense from the top of the hills of the problems that adders are facing. There are roads that are slicing through things, breaking up the area. There is intensive agriculture, there are broken tree lines. And all this contributes to basically slicing the countryside into small areas and the adders are marooned inside them. And that's not very good for their genetic diversity. Soon we've got our first adder. The snout vent length is, is 50 centimetres. Do you want to fill that in, David? Yeah, okay. Uh, Just five zero. Yeah. yeah. Hey, if you could hold the tail, David, okay. the tail tip, I'll give you that. <laughs> right, this is the uh, intrusion part. <laughs> and we have to be slightly vigorous because we're trying to get some cells off from in there. And finally, correction fluid to make sure you don't test the same snake twice. That'll do. That'll do. I think, yeah. Okay. Although he lives in the Midlands, Nigel has been taking samples from adders all over the UK for a huge study. <laughs> They'll go to the Zoological Society of London, the Institute of Zoology, and they will analyse the data. Uh, they'll be looking at the swabs, and uh, then the, a report will be uh, compiled over the autumn period. And from then, we will sort of analyse that data, and then we'll start to think, well, what do we do if there is a real problem here? The sad truth is, in the Midlands, our adders are not doing well. It is a worry. There's about a thousand odd populations of adders in this country. And particularly in the West Midlands, a third of adder populations are down to between sort of 10, 12 animals, really. So it is, it is worrying. This study will be a vital tool in helping preserve adders here in the Midlands. But if it finds populations are now so small they're not genetically diverse enough to survive, well, perhaps the release of adders bred in captivity could be the answer. David Gregory, BBC Midlands Today, on the Malvern Hills.